yeah, this truck's quick. Hey everyone. So I am currently in the cab of a 2017 Chevy Silverado High Country Edition, four wheel drive truck. And what I'm gonna tell you is pretty much universal across all the half tons that I've test driven, but this truck has a really smooth ride. You know, coming from an F450 that I drive and then having an F250 before that, as well as driving pretty much every three quarter ton and one ton truck available now, Man, these half-ton trucks drive like limousines. They're like cars, just the smoothest ride you can imagine. And they have totally refined the characteristics in all of these trucks. I'm not gonna say any one is smoother than another, mainly because they all feel like you're driving a luxury car now. From a steering and a driving dynamics, you know the steering feels tight, which is what you want. You don't want an overly loose steering wheel because it can give you that sloppy feeling when you're making lane changes or you're turning where it feels like the truck wants to roll too much into a turn. This specific truck has very good steering dynamics. It's a nice amount of steering control and it doesn't feel again as if it's too loose on the road. The other nice thing about that is it feels as if the truck's very planted. What I can tell you is if you're shopping for a half ton truck, it's gonna be very difficult to pick out specifically which one you like based on ride alone. You're gonna to have to go deeper than that into how many internal features it has as well as maybe some of the options you might be looking for for specific use, whether it's gonna to be towing or you know recreational driving or if you're even gonna use it for work or payload. What you're gonna notice about this truck when we do the interior shots is the really nice brown interior that it has. This is the high country package, so it's gonna be designed more to compete against your King Ranch or your Platinum and even your Laramie Longhorn from Ram. This specific truck has a 6.2 liter V8 in it, so it is a beast and it sounds good. It's extremely quick. And I can tell you that there is absolutely no lack of power in this truck. You know, another thing that I really like about these new Chevy trucks is just their use of LED lights. These trucks look super sharp from the outside. I don't think there's anybody, whether you're a fan of Ram or Ford, that can discount the fact that both Chevrolet and GMC trucks now are probably the best looking trucks on the road. Now, because this is the high country package, it's gonna have just about every possible feature you could want in one of these trucks. I noticed earlier when a vehicle was coming by and I was trying to kind of test to see how the lane departure warning worked, it's gonna vibrate the seat underneath you the minute you start veering into another lane. And, you know, it's a really interesting feature if you haven't experienced it before. It's actually a pretty intense vibration that comes from under the seat to warn you if you're veering into another lane. One thing you'll notice, and I just noticed it now, and I truly appreciate it, is that they're putting a spot mirror on the driver's side mirror. That's something I've been saying half-ton manufacturers need to do for a long time. In some cases, you're still offered towing mirror options for half-ton trucks, but in many cases, they're not giving you the type of mirror that you need in these trucks. And I like the fact that they at least put a driver's side spot mirror on these trucks. This truck sticker's out right at $60,160, which is right on par with the Ford Lariat F-150 that I drove. These trucks with these really nice luxury packages are all coming in at about the same price now. And I can tell you from a shopping perspective, it really is gonna be difficult trying to figure out specifically which truck you want. In the case of this specific truck, once we do the interior and exterior review, you'll see a little bit more information on the things that this truck may have or may not have compared to its Ford and Ram counterpart. From an overall reliability standpoint, I have to give General Motors some really high points on the 2014 and newer Silverado and Sierra trucks, mainly because you really haven't heard of any real issues with these trucks. Now I did hear the earlier 2014 models had some type of a vibration that some of the trucks picked up in the front suspension, but I've heard that was also addressed in the 2015, 2016, and now 2017 model. I haven't felt any kind of strange vibration in this truck. In my opinion, this truck drives very, very well. The sticker on this one says that the EPA fuel account that the EPA fuel economy numbers on this truck are 17 miles per gallon average with 15 in the city and 20 on the highway. Again, this does have the bigger engine, the 6.2 liter V8 in it. Now I'm going to take this truck over some pretty rough roads because I wanna get a better idea of how it handles really rough terrain. I have a feeling it's still gonna handle it very well. I have yet to be in a half ton truck that has given me a harsh ride 
going over real rough roads, and I don't think that the Chevy's going to disappoint me. Okay, this area of road that we're on now has actually been repaved, but they use concrete and they have these horrendous dividers between them. So when I'm driving on this in my truck, it actually feels like you're driving over you know, a very poorly constructed road. And this truck, it's handling it very well. But this isn't the road that I'm trying to test it on. So if you've watched any of my videos going over rough roads, you'll know that I consider this road what I call surface of the moon style driving. This road is incredibly bumpy and unforgiving on trucks with harsh suspension, such as my F450. But what I can tell you is that, again, this truck handles it very, very well. It really has taken the bumps well. It's not what I would consider a totally smooth ride as if you were on perfectly smooth pavement, but this is actually a very, very well-mannered ride going over this type of rough road condition and I don't feel like I'm being thrown around or jarred. If you have children, let's say you have a child seat in the back and you have a baby in there and you're worried about how the truck's gonna treat them when they're strapped into a baby seat, this is actually a good truck to consider, as are all the other half tons. They simply have excellent ride handling capabilities and characteristics going over rough or smooth roads. Again, this is the same section of road. It's just a little bit bumpier where I'm at right now. And it's driving relatively smooth. You know, if you live on a ranch road, if you live in areas where you have a lot of rough, where you have a lot of rough conditions you'll be driving over, you know, and you're looking for a half ton truck, or you're not going to be hauling a fifth wheel or travel trailer and you don't need a three quarter ton or one ton truck, this is a great choice to look at. Now I know folks who are watching my video, at least those who are interested in buying one of these trucks, whether it's an F-150, a Ram 1500, or a Chevy or GMC 1500, are going to be comparing the different types of videos and reviews on ride characteristics. I don't want to give you any type of false illusion on my feelings about how these trucks drive. And what I'm going to be honest about is regardless of which truck you drive from which manufacturer in the half ton lineup, they all drive incredibly smooth. They all have very similar ride handling characteristics. And I'm telling you that because you can watch other review sites and they may feel the need to say, wow, this one feels so much different than an F-150 or this one feels so much different than a Ram. The reality is they all drive very smooth, they handle very well, they feel very planted. What I will tell you is that the F-150 does feel lighter on the road. And that is something I can be 100% honest about. The truck feels as if it does weigh less. And I don't know how that would play into your decision-making factor. Overall, it is a lighter truck. And, you know, the use of aluminum did accomplish the reduction of weight, but it wasn't thousands of pounds of weight, right? And that's the key to remember. The truck does feel significantly lighter while driving than this truck. I personally like that heavier feel. I like that feel as if I'm driving around something with mass. I don't know why. I can't explain it. But I like the way that this truck feels and drives a little bit better than the F-150, mainly because it feels like there's more substance to it. It feels as if the truck's a little heavier. Yeah, driving on the highway, this truck has really good highway and expressway driving dynamics. It does not feel like it's unstable at all. It feels very settled, very planted. It's a good feeling truck driving on the road. I don't think anybody who would want one of these trucks for long distance driving would be disappointed at all. And I can really appreciate this rear seat reminder where it tells you to look in the rear seat. If you have a child safety seat in the back, the last thing you want to do is forget that you left your child in the back. I know it sounds like a really stupid thing to have to remind a parent to do, but you hear all over the news where people forget to take their kids out of the vehicles and they catch a flight or they leave them locked up in there forever. And, you know, for someone who just needs that extra reminder that you may need to look in the back seat of your vehicle, it's very, very thoughtful for General Motors to put that notification in their trucks before you get out. 